How to lift the cup joins us now. It's been a while, and that's uh, San Jose's new and old coach, Frank Yallop. And Frank, thanks for joining us. My pleasure, guys. Now, what's it like to be back on the Bay considering all of the, uh, I don't want to call it a disaster, a debacle, I'll leave those words for you, but uh, I, I guess a rather troubling year last year in Los Angeles. Um, yeah, I mean, it was, a, it was a difficult time, but I put it down to experience now. It's behind me, and I'm very much looking forward to, uh, to being back in San Jose and, and uh, you know, running this team. And it's, it's, we've had, only had preseason, but it's been a joy, and the guys are really working hard. Now, I mean, I've known you since year one, and just looking at your face, you could see that, uh, I don't say you were seething, but you were, you were troubled last year. And I, I know a lot of people, Joe Cannon has called it a circus, and he could hardly wait to get out. Uh, uh, now that you're not in Los Angeles anymore, you care to share a little bit? Yeah, well, I never looked too far back because, you know, I, again, I put it down to, the, I'm, I'm, I'm through it, I'm experienced, and, uh, but it wasn't easy on anybody, to be honest. I think we didn't know it was going to hit us when David signed um, and you know, all in all, it's just, especially when you're a coach that's not running everything down there, that's very difficult. You don't get a say on a lot of stuff. So, you know, up here, it's been great. I get to, to, um, sort of have the decisions on most, if not all things. And, um, John Doyle has been great just to, to back me up and, and, and trust my judgment. I think that's, uh, that's a big key to me. I get, um, you know, I'm really enjoying the time here, but, uh, it was, it was a good experience. I had some, you know, some, some not bad memories with the, Pachuca final, we nearly won the Super uh, Liga there. And um, in the last sort of kick in the game, we lost in, in the playoffs. To, sorry, in the last season, season a, a game to, to miss the playoffs last year. But it's past me now. I'm just looking forward. Uh, looking forward, Coach. This is Julian. Uh, looking, last time I looked at your roster, you only had 15 players on your roster, and yet it's the oldest roster in the league at 27 years old. Uh, uh, what do you tell the San Jose Earthquake fans out there? Should they be concerned uh, coming into their inaugural season or their second inaugural season? No, not at all. I think that uh, that says that there's some good experienced players on there. It's not uh, old washed-up players. You know, we've got nobody other than Joe and Preston sort of, you know, just in the 30s there. So, We've got some good, experienced uh, players, and I'm uh, I'm real happy with the squad we put together. Um, you know, I keep saying this: the last time I looked, you got to start with 11 players on the field. So, you know, unless they've got real quality, I'm not adding players just for the sake of it because it just makes my job harder to try and manage all those players. So, um, I'm adding them as we go. We've made some lovely ac acquisitions since uh, since the draft, um, the expansion draft was done, and I feel real good that we're building a strong foundation for years to come. Coach, talk about the pride that you must feel in being a part of bringing soccer back to San Jose and, and give us a sense of what the excitement is like right now and the buzz is like among soccer fans out there waiting for, waiting for the start of the season. It's good. They're, um, you know, I think we've, we've sort of dampened their expectations of sort of turning up and just, you know, going to win every game and win the Cup. So um, that, that is a <laughs> reality uh, checks in there. But um, for us, we want to we come out, out strong. We want to have a good season. We want to make the playoffs. And I think... We're no different to any other team that uh, starts the season out with no points. We're all, you know, we're all even. Everyone's, most teams have played a game already. We haven't yet, but we feel um, that uh, you know our expectations for this year are, are trying to to make the playoffs. And I think that the fans are going to get behind us. They've been terrific so far. You know, we're going to start in Buckshaw Stadium in uh, Santa Clara there in a nice tight environment of sort of 12,000 people, and then the odd game will play up in Oakland um, in their stadium to. To uh, you know, the bigger crowds with the, with the Galaxy game in Chicago, we're playing there. So I'm excited to be part of this uh, movement coming back into the Bay Area. And I think that um, the fans are knowledgeable and they know what's going on. Expansion is never easy, but uh, hopefully we can we can uh, have a good uh, successful season. Now, as you talk about that ambition to try and reach the playoffs, if you look at expansion teams over the last few years, whether it be Toronto or Real Salt Lake or Chivas, they all finished at the bottom of the table. Obviously, it's difficult for an expansion franchise when you're building a roster from scratch, but is there anything you can take by looking at that process from the last three expansion teams and something you might be able to do differently to improve upon that? Well, uh, I didn't really look at what, what the other teams did. I, I kind of did, but I didn't really want to dissect it because you start to get your mind... Um, Think about other things. I just want to go on my natural instincts, and my natural instincts are, are all to build the team from the back. If you become difficult to beat and break down, you have a chance of winning games in this league. And I think that um, I feel pretty confident we've got a good, solid, uh, you know, two goalkeeper tandem and Joe Cannon, Preston Burpo in the back four is, you know, solid and, and experienced. And you know, James Riley, just Jason Hernandez, Nick Garcia, Ryan Cochran. We just signed Eric Denton, who's been in the league. He's 30, you know, so. 
we have, we have enough players that um, know what's, what it's about in MLS and are strong. And I think Ramiro Corrales and Ronnie O'Brien are two good pickups for us in the midfield area. Um, you know, people look at on paper, uh, our forwards look a little bit light, but Kai Kamara's had an outstanding preseason. Shea Stanley Smith is a good young player that I, I think is going to get a lot of playing time this, this season uh, up front with uh, all wide. And you've got, you know, Gavin Glint and John Cunliffe we just picked up. And we're adding as we go. But I feel pretty much, uh, and Joe Vides in the mix too, a little bit in midfield. So Ned Gravelvoy is another player. I keep going over everybody. But Ned's a good player. And I think that we've added some good quality signings to an already good uh, expansion draft. Uh, Coach, you say you have a strong quality lineup, but uh, injuries are just a fact of the game. You just look at New England announcing today that Taylor Twellman and Steve Ralston are going to be out for several weeks. Uh, should we expect you guys to possibly make some kind of signing before the transfer deadline on, on April 15th? Well, we're trying. You know, we've got many irons in the fire. You know, the people on trial constantly, if you like. So, but it's not easy. You know, it's about getting the right guys for the for your team. And I think that. Uh, I'm not going to panic and just get anybody in, and I'm. And I, you know, I can't wait to get them out. That's not what I want to do. I want to get players in. That are hopefully, going to stick. You know, the one trade we've already made was for a positional change with Chris Posnack going to Chivas, who needed him, and we basically needed some cover up front. So we took um, we took John Cundler. So um, that wasn't a panic sale. That was a that was a mainly a, a positional move. But I don't want to just get anybody in and then, you know, waste everybody's time, including the players. But I'm not sure about them. I want to make sure and really study them, you know, scout them, bring them in if we can, and train with the guys and see how they interact, and, and then make it go from there. Well, Frank, we wish you the best, and it's nice to have you back on the sideline in San Jose, and I'm sure it won't be too long before you're in the playoffs and maybe even challenging for another cup. Best of luck. Thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate that. Frank Yallop of the San Jose Earthquakes, who do have that problem of building a, an expansion side. Again, they return after a two-year absence. Of course, the Houston Dynamo have gone on in their absence to continue the domination. Cannon, Garcia in the back line, as we heard. And I think O'Brien might be the key. He's always had an iconic playmaker, and O'Brien's the best of the bunch right now. Yallop, again, has had success in San Jose, and we'll see if he has it yet again. So again, we take a look at San Jose. They're getting a chance to start out. Next week, we'll try and see if we can uh, talk to some other 